new premier for you to take the piss out of. The politician who's best known as the nodding head behind Mark McGowan at 2000 press conferences is now boss man. Roger Cook's the Kate Middleton of West Australian politics. Hang around long enough, you'll wear them down till they say yes. Oh, poor Kate. Reckon he'll do a good job? Absolutely no idea. When McGowan resigned, he said it was because he didn't like arguing for a living and didn't like confrontation. It's sick. Yeah. It's irresponsible what the Liberal Party is doing. Madam Moron. The Minister, you're a first-rate idiot. There's a bit of evidence to the contrary there, but Rog definitely doesn't like to fight. Nice guy, but you wouldn't want him in a scrap. So I think I'm ready to lead. I think I'm the one that can take the government forward. But that's OK, because he's got this woman as his deputy. Rita Safiotti relishes a smash. She doesn't even bother putting the gloves on. It's bare knuckles <laughs> every single time. Total biter. She makes Alana McTiernan look like Roger Cook. Been that way since she was a lowly Treasury official in Jeff Gallup's government, where she perfected her resting f you get out of my way face. That could be a good combo. We'll see. They've got some healing to do first. A Labor leadership contest is proof you're better off not knowing how the sausage is made. Look at all of them at Mark's resignation speech. One big team of comrades. And less than 20 hours later, they're at each other's throats. Really, Matt? I thought we were on the same team. We haven't seen the animals inside the Labor machine for a long time because McGowan was a good circus tamer, an unaligned MP who was able to hold them all at bay. Now there's a bit of friction between the factions. It used to be a struggle between the left and the right with Labor. They were the Montagues and Capulets. Do you buy your thumb at us, sir? I do buy my thumb, sir! Do you buy your thumb at us? Sir. Your faction signified political ideology, how you saw the role of government, the place of the free market in economic policy, how progressive or conservative your social values were. Whether you were Catholic. Quite often, that's right. It used to signify where you wanted the party's heart and soul to lie. Now, it's just a nominal team name. I don't care what you call my team. Then I will name your team the Red Team. There are MPs who are members of the left who are more right-wing than Libby Medham. And some of the unions who are part of the right are close to being card-carrying communists. Fine, you want to be a communist? Be a communist. These guys would nationalise the banks if they could. We need to nationalise the other big four. True. PwC's links to government and donations to political parties are new chapters in this ever more entertaining story about corporate greed so rampant Jordan Belfort would blush. <laughs> it's also a story we haven't covered yet on our plate, so we should probably go back to basics. The big four accountancy firm, formerly known as PricewaterhouseCoopers, promotes itself as a human-led, tech-powered community of solvers coming together in unexpected ways to solve the world's important problems. Whatever that means. Yeah. The company identified one of the world's important problems as the requirement for rich multinational companies to pay a fair amount of corporate tax. And the way to solve that problem was less unexpected and more illegal. About 10 years ago, PwC won a federal government contract to help the ATO overhaul the way companies were taxed. Little did we know the private sector accountants were playing gamekeeper and poacher at the same time, quietly using the confidential information obtained in their work for the Federal Department of Finance to help people like these guys avoid paying tax on profits earned in Australia. PwC even had a code name for the morally bankrupt industrial scale betrayal of the Australian people. Project North America. Fuck yeah! It was a business plan to sell tax schemes with pet names such as Double Irish, Triple Dip and Debt Dumping. PwC hooked prospective clients with an assurance it was particularly good at identifying ways foreign companies could sidestep the Australian government's pithily named multinational anti-avoidance law. They were particularly good at this because PwC had advised the AGO about how to construct said multinational anti-avoidance law and so knew where every possible loophole could be found. Well, they're acting all contrite now. Yeah, they're very sorry now they've been busted. My bad. I'm bad. They're now assuring government and the public that they'll be transparent with what's happening internally. They've stood down some partners and pledged to release in full an internal investigation by Ziggy Switowski. And they said they'll ring-fence the employees who work on government contracts from their co-workers. A Chinese wall. Which means they can't work together. They can still carpool to work together and still go to the pub after work together, so it's less this. You shall not pass! 
and more of this. It's wonderful to see you, Gandalf. PwC is moving fast to protect its reputation, so we won't undo that good work by dwelling on the fact that for years the company tried to avoid handing over documents that revealed the scale of their duplicitous deception. When anyone official asked about Operation North America, yeah. PwC claimed legal professional privilege. I'm afraid that's privileged information, client confidentiality. But that didn't cover internal communication between staff, so emails like this one became public, and the reason we found out about Project North America. Yeah. In the first place. The Peter Collins referred to in that message is PwC's head of international tax. The intelligence that Peter provided was the confidential information gleaned from the company's taxation work with the government. Why do we need firms like PwC anyway? As in, why can't we do it in-house? National unemployment rate at the moment uh, is, uh, I think it's 5.4, uh, uh, sorry. I'm Ben Harvey. For more up late, click the subscribe button below.